Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to finally be doing my Sephora VIB recommendations. So if you would like to see the products that I recommend, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new products out on the market. And today, as you know, is for a big event. You guys have been asking where this video is. If you don't know what the Beauty Insider event is, basically on Sephora twice a year, they have a sale depending what tier you are in their Beauty Insider program is how much a percentage you get off and how long you have to shop. So this year, using the code Holiday Fun Rouge, of course, gets 20% off starting on October 30th. VIB gets 15% off starting November 3rd. And then Insiders get 10% off starting November 5th, all going until November 9th. So how valuable this sale is really depends on what tier you are. I know a lot of my subscribers are fellow makeup hoarders, so you know we're all rouge. So this is definitely a bigger sale as far as rouge goes because makeup doesn't go on sale too often. It does go on sale more nowadays, but it's still the perfect time to pick up some of your essentials or any of the new exciting things that come out. So the holiday savings event is also one of the best because all of the awesome new holiday makeup has come out. Now when I originally set my products out for this video, I picked out all of the new products and then I was like, no, 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 no. You guys guys can watch my most recent videos to know out of the holiday makeup what is worth it. So I really wanted to pick products that have been my tried and true for the past few months, what I've actually been using because even though I love the new holiday makeup that's come out, a lot of it I don't see myself sustaining using over a long period of time just because of all of the new releases. So I wanted to make sure the products that I was going to recommend to you are worthwhile products that I've legitimately been using. Now this is a mixture because some are brand new products but I'm recommending them to you because I just have a feeling that they're a part of my staple routine. They give me a special feeling more so than other products. And then other products are just items that I've been using for a while now. So I'm really excited for this video. Now, of course, I will say just because I'm not showing you all of the new holiday makeup and what's worth it, definitely check out my previous videos. I've covered a lot of the holiday makeup and I think if there's a holiday item that's limited edition that you've been wanting, dying, breathing for, oh my goodness, by all means, pick it up. I just didn't want this video to be so repetitive because I've been talking about all of the new releases lately. So I wanted to bring it back to some older products. Also, I'm sorry this intro is so long. I'm apologizing in advance for all of the Sephora content you're about to get. But uh, as you know, Sephora is my favorite place to buy makeup and I wanna make sure you guys are prepared for the sale. And then I also wanna do going over value sets because I also do think you should buy the value sets as well during the sale. But you know, I don't necessarily have them to show you and demo for you. So keep an eye out for those videos anyways we're like five minutes in let's get into it so let's get started with primers i have two primers that i've been loving that i want to share with you so we'll start off with the older one the first one is the tatcha the liquid silk canvas now i could not get down with the original silk canvas where it was like a putty and then you had to melt it on your fingers and then blend it into your face i love it in this liquid form first of all it's much more sanitary it's much simpler to use and i feel like it's more effective in this form I really feel like this does smooth out my skin and it has a little bit of moisturizing properties. I do have normal to dry skin and leaning more dry in the colder months. So I really love this for smoothing out my base and it just feels really good and I really do see it filling in my pores. So this is an amazing primer that is in my regular routine that I highly recommend. It came out this year and I've been loving it ever since. Now the next item is definitely, definitely on the newer scale, but it is so good. I can't put it down. This is the Rare Beauty Illuminate illuminating primer. Now I have this in the travel size and who knew this would end up being one of my favorite items from the line. If you like a glowy base, this is perfect. It's not overly moisturizing. So if you have a oily skin type, you can definitely make this work for you if you're into luminosity. Now it's not an obnoxious luminosity, but it definitely does peek through under your foundation as it wears. And I just like that overall glowy appearance. Honestly, this looks really good even when you don't wear foundation because it gives such a nice natural glow 
to it. I highly recommend it. This is one of my favorite products from the Rare Beauty line and I definitely think it's worth checking out if you do like an illuminating base. Now let's get into foundations. So we'll start off with the one that I'm not wearing. It's just been a great go-to foundation for me ever since I picked it up. I want to say in the earlier months of quarantine but this is the Guerlain Essential Natural Glow Foundation. This is just a fabulous everyday foundation for myself. I like the coverage. I like the smell. I like the scent. I just think overall it wears beautifully. It gives you a more natural medium kind of coverage but it still perfects the skin. It looks super natural on this skin. I love the finish. It's not overly dewy but it's also not overly matte. It's that perfect skin like finish which I really love. So if you're looking for a great new everyday foundation to try, I really love this. It's a reliable foundation. I feel like it's very versatile for a lot of different occasions and then I love how unique the bottle is as well. So if you're looking for a new foundation that is kind of middle of the road as far as what it gives you like wear time, coverage, finish, all of that, this is really great. It's very versatile for many occasions. I've been wearing this non-stop. So let's move on to this next product and this product, ladies and gentlemen, Game Changer. I talked about this months ago. I let you guys in on the hints. This is like a It'll change your makeup routine. Please pick up the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I haven't talked about this lately just because I haven't been wearing too many tinted moisturizers. But you're like, well, this is light makeup. No, I actually really don't like this on its own. There's zero coverage. It makes me look like a grease ball. But I love this to mix with my thicker, harder to blend, drier foundations. So for example, today I mixed it with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which by the way, this isn't technically my recommendations, but if you like full coverage, flawless skin, you will love this. However, it does lean on the heavier side. It can be a little bit, dare I say, cakey. It's like a pretty cakey, I don't know. If you like coverage, you will love this. I actually featured this in my 10 products that make me feel flawless video. Definitely go check that out. There are some gems in there. This was my foundation that makes me feel flawless. It's just so perfecting. But you know what? On an everyday basis though, it is a bit heavy and mixing a couple drops of this into this makes it a perfectly wearable, gorgeous, glowy foundation. Completely changes the game for your thicker foundations. The Hourglass Vanish Stick, it's too thick and cakey for me, for my skin. I just put two tiny drops on my face and I mix it in with the stick foundation. Game changer and it gives the most natural skin-like glowy finish to the skin as well and it doesn't take away from the coverage too much like yeah it does thin it out just a bit but you still get a pretty full coverage foundation if you're using a full coverage foundation and more so makes the consistency a little bit more watery which makes everything easier to blend but it also kind of adds that glow to the skin so you definitely need to try this out I absolutely love it I use the shade Shayla I probably could go a shade or two deeper but it doesn't matter for me this is about how it changes the consistencies of my full coverage foundations and I love it. Highly, 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 highly recommend. Let's move on to a concealer. Now there are three or four concealers that are in my regular rotation as far as my absolute favorites and there are so many I could recommend to you guys. I have a long list of concealers that are really great from Sephora but I always go back to my Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Concealers and I didn't want to put this in this video because I've talked about this plenty of times before. You guys know I love it. If you're newer to me, I want you to know that this is a bomb concealer. Now, it's not a lightweight concealer. It definitely is a thicker concealer, but even though it's thick, it still blends out beautifully. It gives you a pretty full coverage, but it doesn't get cakey. It doesn't look heavy and it really doesn't sink into my lines. Now, of course, I am only 24. I don't have very much mature skin, but this is an amazing concealer. I have it in multiple colors so I can shade, highlight my face, and that's how I know this is a fabulous concealer. If you're newer to me and you didn't know, Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Concealer, the best concealer I've ever tried. I mean, along with a couple others, but it's definitely best three concealers I've ever tried. All right, let's move on to a setting powder. So this is a powder that I've recommended for a while, but I actually just recently got a new color. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Now, I was always using number two to set my face. I love this powder for setting my face throughout the day. I feel like it's a really great touch-up powder, and I never really cared for it for setting underneath my eyes. 
nice. But then I did end up purchasing number one and I have been liking it for a quick under eye touch up. Now I do prefer to pack on a little bit of a looser powder and then go over that with this because this is a really skin perfecting smoothing powder. I absolutely love it. It's a very popular powder. A lot of people have talked about it, but I don't know. I've been reaching for this over and over again lately. I really love setting the center of my face with it because it is a lighter powder and it's just a bomb smoothing powder. It's worth all of the hype, absolutely. And I'm so happy that I now have it in two shades. So you might want to consider maybe shading up or shading down because that way you can really use it all over your face, whether the center, the outer parts, just to set your makeup to have something more skin tone. I really am enjoying having this in multiple colors. Let's move on to bronzers. I have two that I want to share with you that I think would be really great to treat yourself to while they are 20% off. So we'll start off with the cream bronzer and this isn't a new love for me at all but it's one that I can't seem to put down and this is the Huda Beauty Tantor and I have mine in the shade Fair and this blends out so beautifully. I only use it with a sponge and I love the tone of this. It's not too warm but it's also not too cool as well. It just lightly shades the area and it's not too dark for my skin tone where I can't go over with a powder bronzer. I like how powder bronzers sit on top of this color in particular and they do have quite a large range of colors but I just love that this is in kind of a pop form so I can just twist my sponge in and pat it on because that really does give you the seamless finish and blend onto the skin. I don't know I think people stop talking about this and it's still a really bomb product that I use in my daily routine. All right and then I do have one powder bronzer to share with you and I think that this is such a special powder that I would highly recommend purchasing right now because it is quite pricey. It is the Gucci Powder Bronzer. So I have mine in the shade number one. It's such a treat to yourself because of how luxurious everything about this bronzer is from the packaging to the scent to the embossment to the way that it applies. Now just be a little bit careful as far as what color you order. I have number one. Number one is my favorite. Number three also works well when I want something a little bit deeper, a little bit more bronzy. Here's the weird thing. Number three is lighter than number two. So if you're my skin tone, please don't get number two. That is way too dark for you. So if you're around my skin tone, I would recommend shade one if you're okay with the more cooler tones. But if you really hate cooler tones, I would move up to number three. So those are my color recommendations. But this is just a beautiful formula overall. Also about the experience with this bronzer, because you are getting a luxury experience when you're using this, especially when you open it up and you get the gorgeous floral scent it is beautiful. So I think if you can get this at 20% off, you won't regret it. Like I said, treat yourself because this is a bomb bronzer. It makes you feel like a rich lady. Let's move on to blushes and again these are an older product but I do find especially when I'm off camera myself reaching for these and these are the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Now I haven't held back in telling you guys how much I love these but I did slow down just because of all of the newer products but just know off camera I have been continuing to use these so you can trust me that these are being used. So the one that I'm wearing today is she so LA and this looks very intimidating there was a reason why I didn't order this color first but once I saw everybody else applied it's such a beautiful neutral toned blush but it also has a little bit of a red undertone to it but nothing unflattering so I love the cream quality and sometimes I'll just do the cream alone when you want that really glowy cheek but I also love how the powder over top looks on the cream I just think overall this is a gorgeous product and I love the colors that he chose so I'm wearing She's So LA, which is a little bit more neutral, but if you like pinky, I highly recommend She's That Girl. This again looks a little bit scary, but it's gorgeous on the cheeks. I have a lot of blushes. You guys know I love blush, and the fact that I'm only really recommending these as far as individual blushes go should tell you a lot. They are amazing. All right, so let's talk highlighter, and I know for a fact you are not going to be surprised by my recommendation. This is a new, new product, but it has... It's my current favorite highlighter, definitely number one. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. I was very, very skeptical about this when it came out because it's like 60, is it 65? It's like $60, which nobody should ever pay $60 for a highlighter. But 
but this is amazing, you guys. 20% off if you're gonna purchase one thing and you like highlighter, please purchase this. I told you guys, it's not worth it. $60, you don't need to spend $60 on a highlighter. I take everything I said back. I cannot put this highlighter down. It's my absolute favorite highlighter. It's just this soft focus kind of finish to the skin. It doesn't emphasize texture at all and it blends so seamlessly into the skin. You cannot see where I applied this. All you see is the glow and it also is so versatile for so many skin tones. I've seen fair skin tones to deep skin tones rocking this highlighter. I can't get over how versatile of a color it is as well. I've had so many of you DM me and thank me for recommending this highlighter to you because you also love it. So if you're gonna buy one thing, can you just buy this? Please, please. It's amazing. So I did want to talk about the Hourglass Holiday Palette just because I do think if you're interested in the product that it is worth picking up. So this is the Sculpture Ambient Lighting Edge it palette. I will say it's not my favorite of the ones that have come out, but if you are interested in getting an array of Hourglass products, these palettes are pricey. They're often difficult to get your hands on, and I can imagine this selling out pretty quickly on the Sephora website. So if this is something that you want, I do recommend picking them up because even though this isn't my favorite set of colors, the quality is phenomenal. And if it's a set of colors that you like, I do recommend it. But what I would recommend more is picking up the Sculpture Quad. Now, I don't have that because four of the colors are in this palette, but I love the colors in this quad. So if you do not have that quad, that's definitely a recommendation from me. The colors are gorgeous. The quality is phenomenal. If you like a soft kind of glowy look to your face, you're going to love that. So that definitely is a product that I recommend picking up. And like I said, I try to keep brand new holiday products to a minimum because obviously I haven't used them for a very long time and I wanted this to be a worthwhile experience for you but it's such a good deal that I do think you should scoop that up. Alrighty, so let's move on to eyebrows. I do have one eyebrow product that I've been loving and this is from Marc Jacobs. This is their Brow Wow Duo. I have mine in the shade Medium Brown and I just love this. The only thing is I'm missing a spoolie. I'm a huge spoolie girl. I need a spoolie when it comes to brushing my brows out. But other than that, I do love the product in here so much. So one side is going to be a pencil and I wouldn't say this is my favorite eyebrow pencil in the world. You know, I still prefer my Isom, my ABA, my benefits. I prefer those divining brow pencils, but this is still pretty dang good. I just would like this a little bit thinner and maybe a little bit more waxy, but it certainly gets the job done. It's not a bad brow pencil by any means, but I think what really made this product stand out to me is I absolutely love the brow gel. Now it is a tinted brow gel, but it really controls my hair. My eyebrow hairs go where this gel tells them without being too stiff. So my brows still do feel like they have a life of their own but you see how they're listening and I just always love the way that my eyebrows look when I use this product. I find myself continually reaching for it. That is really a big deal for me, okay? I have a lot of makeup. I'm constantly testing out new products so when a product stands out and I just continue to grab for it on my days off of YouTube, that's how you know it's a good product. So Highly recommend this if you're looking for a new brow product to try. It looks like the progression that I'm going is taking me to eyeshadow palettes. Now eyeshadow palettes, oh my gosh you guys, I could do a whole video on eyeshadow palettes that I recommend for this sale. But I really did want to curate some products that I think were appropriate for the holidays, great as gifts and just overall great quality and definitely a time that you should take advantage of the percentage off. So we'll start off with the new new ones because there are some that I think you should take advantage of the opportunity to get them now. And the first one is Pat McGrath. Now, originally I had like four or five Pat McGrath palettes to recommend to you guys. But you guys know if you're into the big mothership palettes, if there's a color story that speaks to you, pick one up. This is a great time. I do love the quads, absolutely. And if you're living, dying, breathing for one of those color stories, go for it, girl. But the one that I feel like I will continually use over and over again as the weeks progress, the months progress, is the Mega Mothership Celestial Divinity. And I feel like this got some mixed reviews, but I really, really like it. I like the cardboard packaging. I know it's not the typical luxurious Pat McGrath experience, but I don't think you need that every time. I know this is expensive. It is about $80, but you're getting a lot of colors here. So for Pat McGrath, this is a great value. And I'm happy that you can get so many shades and just simple travel friendly packaging. Now the color story in here, I just love it. I feel like it's heavy on the purples. So that's probably the main reason, but I 
love every single look that I come up with. It is the palette that I am wearing today. You can't tell me that this look isn't stunning. Now I will say I don't think this palette is perfect. If I was to curate this palette, I would have done it a bit differently. I would have added more mattes. I would have added other things that I felt like I could create more looks with because even though you do get so many shades, sometimes you look at this and it can be a bit overwhelming and harder to create looks because there's really only like three or four colors to go for in this palette. It's just different textures or finishes or depths of the shade. You get a lot of shades of purples, you get a lot of shades of golds, champagnes, and it just doesn't have as much of a variety as I think that it should have, especially the textures. With that being said, I love this palette. And I love the colors, I love the looks that I can get with it, and I just think it's a good value. And if you can get this for an additional 20% off, now's the time to do it. I haven't had a bad shadow yet while using this palette. I think the quality is really great. And I also haven't seen an ugly look with this palette either. Every look everybody does with this palette, I feel like just looks so phenomenal. So if you really wanna step up your eyeshadow game, I feel like you can do it with this palette. Um, another new palette that I was floored by, and <laughs> I haven't used this that much, but I am utterly shocked at how much I love it. This is the Rare Beauty Confident Energy Palette. I never ever would have thought I would love this as much as I do, but these are about $40. They're priced very fairly, and the quality is so good. It is an all shimmer palette, but the way that these apply are beautiful. You don't get any fallout. They apply with full opacity, and they're just overall a gorgeous palette. This is one of two shades. I prefer this shade. I just feel like the colors are much more inspiring. It's a bit more of a cohesive palette. Just check out my review on this palette. I'm so excited that they came out with such a good quality palette and at a very fair price, especially with 20% off. I think this is a phenomenal deal for what you're getting. And I really do think that this is a palette that could encourage you to step outside of your comfort zone. And the tones that they went with are just so eye-catching. I cannot wait to create more looks with this palette. I feel so inspired by this little six pan palette. So I did have to share with you guys that I love this and I think you should pick it up. And then of course, you know I couldn't go without mentioning the Glam palette from Natasha Denona. Cool Tone Queen over here. I just love cool tones and this gave me a glam cool tone palette. This is like an everyday palette for me. I have to tell myself to stop using it because I love it so much. The quality is fantastic. Natasha did a great job with this palette. I know a lot of you have been eyeing it and been waiting for the sale to pick it up. Yes, yes. Do it and do it quickly before it sells out. And I know a lot of you also bought the ColourPop, the new cool tone palette that came out. I am going to review it. I am going to talk about how it compares to this palette. If money is not an obstacle, I will say this though. Natasha Tasha's formula is the best of the best. So if you are all about the quality like me, you're gonna get it with this palette. It's seriously so amazing. Okay, now I do have three older palettes that I wanna share with you, but I think are going to be great for this time of year. So I think it's a great time to consider purchasing these. I did wanna throw in the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This guy came out of nowhere and I ended up loving it. I did not think I would like it as much as I did, but over the past year, this palette palette just has everything I need and I just think it is the perfect holiday palette. Now that being said, it did come out last year for the holidays and I just think she did such a good job with this palette. The longer that I've had it, the more I love it. You have some holiday tones in there. You have some neutral tones in here. There's just so many looks you can create with this palette. I do wish it was laid out differently. It's such a good value for Natasha Denona and the formula is phenomenal. I just had to remind you that this palette existed and would be a great holiday pick up whether for you or for somebody else the tones are perfect for this time of year you guys know I've been loving this little quad I can't stop talking about it I've talked about it constantly and it's random this is so random nobody else talks about this but this is the NARS orgasm X quad if you like a pinky look you are going to love this palette I just feel like if I know I want a pinky look along these tones this is such an easy palette to grab for it's so easy to use I love the colors and the dimension that you can get with this palette so this was a surprise pickup for me I did didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I kind of bought it as an afterthought. It is pricey for a little quad, but I love it so much that I feel like you should buy it while it's 20% off. I wouldn't say, you know, to spend full price on it, but because 20% off, highly recommend it. This is been one of my favorite palettes this year. Okay, and then the last one. I've been on a Charlotte Tilbury kick lately. I don't know if you've noticed. In the last few months, Charlotte Tilbury has become my number one favorite brand. Now, of course, you know, I love Pat McGrath. I love Natasha Denona. But I think 
Collection wise, Charlotte Tilbury has my favorite collection. If I could only shop for one brand for the rest of my life, it would be Charlotte Tilbury. I love everything just about that her line comes out with. I wanted to encourage you to maybe dive in to her luxury quads. I do have a full tutorial video showing you all of the quads that I own, a whole Charlotte Tilbury overview of the brand if you're interested, but this quad is just the epitome of the Charlotte Tilbury eye, and I think it's a great introduction to the brand. So this is the Golden Goddess Quad. Now I do recommend if you're a newbie to Charlotte Tilbury to look into her bigger palette that's out right now for the holidays. That's around $75. That's a way better value and you definitely get a better taste of her formula. But if you've graduated from those big palettes and you're ready to explore the land of luxury quads, this has been my favorite, the one I can't put down. Like I said, check out my 10 products that makes me feel flawless. This was the eyeshadow palette that I use. You know, you, you can't get a ton of looks with this palette, but it's the look that you get with this palette that's incredible. If you like the blown out, glowy, glittery eye look that Charlotte Tilbury often does, get this one. If you like like more cool tones, I know I want a Charlotte Tilbury look, I go for this palette. All right, so I have two eyeliners that I've been loving and eyeliners aren't really exciting, but they are essential. And I've been trying a lot of eyeliners lately just because I've been looking for the perfect one. And these are the two that I've been using the last few months. So the first one is a pen. And this is the One Size Point Made Bodacious Black Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I don't really love the tip on this. I feel like it's a bit too wobbly for my preferences. I would have liked something a little bit more stiff. But I love how long it is. So it makes it really easy to create a wing. But I love how wet this is without being messy. So you get a lot of product when you spread this along your lash line. It is very, very black. It goes over glitter and any kind of multi-dimensional stuff that you put as a lid topper. This covers it like no other. It's so black and it doesn't bleed either, which is really important to me because sometimes when eyeliners are too wet, I can almost see them bleed as I'm applying them. This is thick enough to where it doesn't bleed. It lasts a really long time and I just love how black and pigmented it is and how much coverage it gives me. So this has been my favorite eyeliner pen recently. So if you're looking for a new one to try, I think this one is really great. And then as far as liquid liners go, I've used this for over a year now. This is the ABH liquid eyeliner. I like this because it's a matte black. I'm not as good at eyeliner with liquid liner. I'm much better with gel or pen. A lot of times I'll actually do my eyeliner with whatever medium I feel comfortable with. And then I'll trace over top of this because this is just so black and it lasts and it doesn't bleed. So if you're looking for a really great liquid liner, please look into this. It's super duper black. And again, if you're not the best at applying liquid liner, just do what I do. Sometimes I'll go over with this and then I put this on top. Oh, I forgot. I do have a lid topper product and it's from Charlotte Tilbury, my favorite brand. And this is the Jewel Pot. And she also has Pillow Talk. I don't have that shade. I want that shade. But this is Walk of Shame. Either way, this is a gorgeous formula. Again, if you like a soft glittery lid topper, then you will really like this. I don't think that this is necessarily a product for everybody, but the quality of this is insane. So maybe it's not the most eye-catching or the most pigmented product, but it really gives you a soft glimmery glitter finish to the eyelid and it lasts all day and it doesn't crease. So more so where this stands out to me is just the lasting ability that this has because sometimes products are so beautiful when you apply them and then by the end of the day they're greasy and creasy. This stays put all day. It doesn't fade. So if you want that soft glitter that's going to last on your lid, highly recommend this. This is really great. They are pricey. So that's why I say probably get it now. Beautiful for the holidays. Okie dokie. So let's move on to lips and not a new discovery but just my go-to lip liners that I've been using lately are from Charlie Tilbury but my two colors I have a more brownie nude and then I have a more pinky kind of lip liner so the more pinky one if you want to add color to your face and just a really nice pretty natural nudie pink lip I highly recommend super size me it just is kind of like my natural lip color but even brighter and it really makes my lips look much more full and then also iconic nude I'm really into more cooler tone brown nude lips. So this is the lip liner that I'm using today. And again, it really does make your lips look so much fuller. I love Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. These are the ones I've been using lately, but Pat McGrath is also a favorite of mine. They're both equally as good. These are so smooth. 
but they still dry down. They're a little bit on the matte side, but they're still very comfortable on the lips. The colors that Charlotte has are the best. So that's where I think they're a little bit better than Pat McGrath because I like the color range better. So these two, I highly, highly recommend. Both if you like a little bit more of a nude, but still full looking lip. So you like the outer part of your lip deeper, recommend these two. So normally these products wouldn't be something that I recommend, but for the sake of mask wearing, I do wanna talk about these Rare Beauty Lip Souffles. So these are like matte lip creams and I love the shade Brave for the fall and then for every day if you like a mauve lip like me, I do recommend Courage. Normally, probably wouldn't be as in love with these products if it weren't for mask wearing because I feel like these are a comfortable way to wear lip products with wearing a mask. There is a little bit of transfer because if I used a completely matte lipstick that would like stain my lips, it would make me feel so uncomfortable. So this is that happy medium to where it doesn't transfer that much. And if you don't want it to transfer at all, just put a little bit and kind of use it as a lip tint. That's kind of my recommendation for wearing this. So when I do want some color to my lips to bring my face back to life, I'll just blend a little bit of one of these two products on my finger just to add the overall depth back into my face and life back into my face. So I recommend these products for that. I love the colors that she has, but these two have been my favorite for this time of year. And they're also the only two that I bought, but. <laughs> and then I do have one new, new product to share with you guys. This is in my Sephora haul or it will be, but um, this is a recent pickup of mine and this is the Fenty Holiday Lip Gloss Set. I just love Fenty lip glosses and I feel like if you like the formula you need to pick these up and especially if you can get them at 20% off you won't regret it. I use and abuse the set that they came out with last year. Lost all of them. They're somewhere spread around my room or in my purses but I use the heck out of them and I even love the colors that they came out with more this year so you get four. It's a great value. It's an even better value with 20% off and I just think for me as somebody who owns a lot of makeup I don't need full size products. I prefer samples and these are perfect to get a really great range of colors. Right now, underneath my iconic nude lip liner, I'm wearing the lightest shade right here, this super nude pale shade, and it is gorgeous. So I also wore Cake Shake recently, and again, gorgeous. So highly, highly recommend these. I just kind of wanted to remind you that this was out there, and you should get it. <laughs> So I only have two more products to share with you guys and they are both skincare and they have both completely changed my skin so I couldn't live without mentioning them. So the first one is the Erno Laszlo Detoxifying Cleansing Oil. I will be picking up a full size for myself. This is a smaller size. If you're into the double cleanse life, I highly recommend it. If you're not into the double cleanse life, I highly recommend this and you should get into it. So basically I take my makeup off with my makeup remover and then I go in with this cleansing oil just to get off any residue that I left behind and then I'll go in with my regular cleanser. So this will break up the makeup that you left on and I swear this really did help my acne and just help me feel like I do have a cleaner face. It just gets anything that you leave behind because sometimes with cleanser I feel like I still have a little bit of makeup left over. Sometimes you just miss those spots. This really does ensure that you get all the makeup off and this completely changed my skin. This is the product. I mean I still have acne but it got rid of like my cystic heavy acne. Now I only get like small spots here and there. This is the Ola Henriksen Glow Dark Spot Toner. If you struggle with acne, please give this a try. It completely changed my skin. Again, I'm like all the way down here. I'm buying the biggest size that they have during the sale. It's a bit harsh and I really didn't like it at first. I thought, you know, I have more sensitive skin so I just did not like how harsh it was. But then I just stopped getting acne. Literally the second I started started using this product, my acne stopped coming. I don't know what magic is in here, but you guys have been asking for my skincare routine. I swear the only game changing product in my skincare routine that got rid of my acne was this product alone. So if you struggle with acne, give it a try, completely worth it. All right, you guys, so that was a very long winded video. My mouth is very dry, but that is all I have for my recommendations for this Sephora VIB sale. Like I said, I'm I'm a huge holiday makeup junkie, so if there's a product that you've been wanting to pick up, now's the time to do it. If you want to pick up gifts, now is the time to do it. If you want to look into the value sets as well, now's the time to do it. And make sure you guys stay tuned because you know I have a lot of Sephora content coming. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.